Hey creeps, it's Cameron again and welcome back to my channel where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. And on this episode of Library Macabre, I have yet another unpackaging of the Nightworms package and this time I'll be breaking into the November package, so stay tuned. <laughs> The theme of this package is feasting on horror. I've already seen what books are included, so I'm very excited about those. Um, but as always, we're gonna get into the little goodie bag first. And this one is pretty thin actually. So maybe there's some art in here or some bookmarks. We'll take a look and see. Okay, so looks like we have some cool stuff. Whoa, looky there. That is a magnet of Halloween Town from A uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. So that magnet is going to go on my book cart. So that is awesome. I was hoping they would include more magnets because I do need more magnets for my book cart. And this magnet is from In Lumos Liberatus. So that is so, so cool. And next we have a really cool sticker right here. I'm going to try to get these a little bit closer to the camera so you can see. I know somebody in the last video was like, hey, I can't really see what you're holding up. So I'm going to try to hopefully focus it in a little better. And this is called The Plague Doctor. This is a sticker and it is from Lively Ghosts. And we have yet another sticker right here. This is from Accession Press. And then we have three signed book plates right here for each of the books that are included in the package. And then from Hey Atlas Creative, we have a Horror is Our Happy Place bookmark. And then we have a really pretty art print right here. This is from Nicholas Day. And that is beautiful. It kind of gives me some Haunted Mansion vibes with the blue color there. And I think that's all for the goodie package. So I am going to get into the books here. Let's see what the first one is. And we have The Devil's Dreamland, poetry inspired by H.H. H. Holmes. If you don't know that name, you should probably Google it and uh, read all about it because it's pretty gruesome stuff. This is by Sarah Tantlinger and it is from Strange House Books, which I think this is my very first book from them. It's a very nice book. H.H. H. Holmes committed ghastly crimes in the late 19th century, many of which occurred within his legendary Murder Castle in Chicago, Illinois. He is often considered America's first serial killer. In her second book of poetry from Strange House Books, Sarah Tantlinger takes inspiration from accounts and tales which spawned from the misdeeds of one Herman Webster Mudgett, better known as Dr. Henry Howard Holmes. Fact and speculation intertwine herein, just as they did during the man's own lifetime. There's plenty of room in the cellar for everyone in the devil's dreamland. So that is very cool. I do love a good book of poetry, especially poetry that has a little bit more of a macabre twist. So very cool. Oh man. Oh, I'm so excited. This cover is so freaky and awesome. And I saw it online and I was really excited to get it. And in person, it's even better. So cool. All right, this is a book from Word Horde and it is called A Sick Gray Laugh. This is by Nicole Cushing. This looks awesome. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna read you the back. Award-winning author Noelle Cashman is no stranger to depression and anxiety. In fact, her entire authorial brand showcased in titles such as The Girl with the Gun in Her Mouth, Leather Noose, and The Breath Curse has been built on hopeless, phantasmagoric visions she experiences when in the grip of paranoid psychosis. But Noelle has had enough, and author Brand be damned, she found help for her illness in the form of an oblong yellow pill taken twice a day. Since starting on this medication, Noelle's symptoms have gone into remission. She's taken up jogging, she's joined a softball team. For the first time in Noelle's life, she feels hope. She's even started work on a nonfiction book, the history of her small southern Indiana town. But then Noelle starts to notice the overwhelming grayness that dominates her neighborhood slathered over everything like a thick coat of snot, threatening to assimilate all. From Bram Stoker award-winning author Nicole Cushing comes A Sick Gray Laugh, a novel about madness, depression, history, utopian cults, literature, sports, 
and all the ways we struggle to stay sane in an insane world. So this sounds very, very intriguing. I love books that tackle depression and anxiety. I tend to connect to these kinds of books on a personal level. So when I read something like this, I get very invested in the story. And then when I walk away, I feel like a dragon of my own has been slayed. So very much looking forward to diving into this one. All right. And lastly, ooh, man, ooh, man, this is a beautiful cover. Uh, here we have Grind Your Bones to Dust by Nicholas Day. In his first novel, This is Horror and Wonderland, award-nominated author Nicholas Day invites you to take a journey into a hell that is at once uncomfortably familiar, yet unlike anything you've encountered before. A surveyor finds himself pursued by flesh-eating donkeys in the furthest reaches of Oregon's desert. A mass murderer leaves the sanctity of his mountain home to pursue a long-lost love his guide, an otherworldly raven possessed by a 19th century American humorist. In nearby Claymath Falls, two estranged childhood friends set off to find a missing father with the help of two aging cowboys, and a prisoner of her own home sees a vision of death and knows there is no escape. Now, this sounds like a short story collection to me, but it says that this is Nicholas Day's first novel, so I am very curious to see how all of those plot lines are going to tie together. So there you go, that is the November Nightworms package, and we had three really awesome, unique horror books that were handpicked, so I'm very excited to get into those, as well as signed book plates for each of those, and magnets, and stickers, and cool artwork. So the Nightworms always pulls through. They have never disappointed me a single time, so I am just so happy to be a part of the team. It gives me something to look forward to every single month. If you live in the US, Canada, or the UK, you can subscribe to The Nightworms yourself. Of course, you can use my code MOVIE5 to get an additional 5% off your already discounted subscription, so you would get 10% off total. I don't get any commissions from this code or anything, it just shows them that I sent you and it gives you a nice little discount. And I would say that if you are ever going to subscribe to The Nightworms, I would do it now because December marks their one year anniversary and they have something really big planned. I don't know exactly what, because they aren't doing any spoilers for the books that are included. So all of the books that are included are a complete mystery to me. Uh, they just said that they are sure that the books that they are including are not going to be owned by anybody yet. So that has me very interested. And I have heard that there are several books included next month. So. It's gonna be pretty big. Uh, it'll be a great way to kick off December and the start of the Christmas season. So if you want to subscribe to that, links are gonna be down below. But thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Later creeps. Hey creeps, thank you again for visiting my channel and for subscribing. If you would like to see more, I am on Twitter and Instagram at BookMovieGuy. I am also the co-creator of the Library Macabre Books Facebook page. Also, I am a horror author, so if you would like to read any of my work or check out any of the pages that I mentioned, I will leave the links down below in the graveyard. And lastly, I am on Patreon, so I wanted to use this time to extend a very warm thank you to all of these awesome creeps over here. Those are all of my Patreon supporters, and I wanted to say thank you so much, guys, and uh, stay spooky.